Hey guys, so since I am coming on my five year surge anniversary, there's a few videos I wanted to make and this was one of them. And this is going to be um, my five years post-op VSG favorite things, things I can't live without, I guess is probably what it should be. Things I cannot live without. Some of these are probably a little bit of stretch for some of you, but the majority of these um, are just things that I personally love. These are in no certain order, but I wanted to share them with you today. So, um, I should just start with this one. Number, uh, this first one is, um, I think there's only like 11 things. Are this, um, is what I call my fat sucker. And so, it's just a, um, it's just a body, I mean, it's just like a camisole top, but it's sucky down here, and then this part is just loose. I mean, it's got a little, it's got more give to it. This part down here doesn't have much give. Um, this is the Sweet Nothings brand by, or by Maiden Form, Sweet Nothings by Maiden Form. These are from Walmart. They're like 12 bucks, and I have like two of these and two black, and I think I have a gray and I have a white. Um, the black, I have one black that's my favorite that I wear a lot. That's what I have on right now. Um, and then some of them are a little bit snug from when I lost a lot of weight. I had like gone down to like a size medium. Um, but the ones I wear mostly now are extra large. I think I do have one that might be 2X um, that I wore when I was pregnant. Yeah, this one's extra large. Um, but I love those. I have still have saggy skin even though I've gained some weight um, back. But when I was really thin, I mean, I when I get up in the morning and get my clothes on, that thing goes on. Even if I'm just going to be around the house during the day, I very rarely don't wear one. Um, I don't wear it to bed at night. I feel really nauseous. Sorry, I had some sugar-free chocolate while ago. Um, but yes, I love that thing, and it is one of my most favorite things in the whole world. Um, and I would recommend that for anybody, even if you just have a little bit of saggy skin. I, I just... I have to have it. I mean, I cannot run. I cannot walk. I cannot work. I just feel naked without it now. Um, and my best friend's like, oh, those are too hot. I can't wear those. But I don't think that at all. And I haven't thought that in a very, very, very long time. Okay. Um, the second thing that I absolutely cannot live without is my food scale, my digital food scale. And I actually don't use this as much every single day. Um, but I definitely use it weekly. And um, I, I've gotten pretty good at eyeballing now because I, di I have used this so much. Um, and here's my other thing. I have a two-year-old. So sometimes measuring things out, are n it's just not in my, it's just not something I have time to do in my day. But this is so easy. And um, it actually will convert this to um, ounces or uh, grams, either one. And I really like that. And there's a whole bunch of buttons on here on the side that you can do different things with. I think this also came from Walmart. Ed bought this for me. It's so dirty. He bought this for me um, like right, at, right after I had surgery. And I definitely couldn't live without that thing. Something else I absolutely couldn't live without, but I probably need to learn to, especially since I really feel like my body needs to be dairy free, are these cheese wisps. I love them. And they make me so happy. And Two reasons. One is, is they're a healthy snack. Two, they're so keto friendly. Okay, three. And three, they really feel the need when I just have like, I have to have a crunch right now. Um, they have been super helpful and they're crazy expensive. I could probably get them cheaper if you order them off of Amazon. I've never done that. These come from Walmart and they're like $2.98 a bag. Um, but I'm telling you, I like move things around in my budgets to make sure that I can get these every week. So sad. Um, some other, this is something else that's a little bit silly, but I wanted to share with you. Um, these, this is a um, chopping board and you can see it's really worn. I've really used it. And I got this not too long after surgery, um, but it is just perfect. Now, if you were gonna cook for a whole bunch of people, it wouldn't be, but it's just perfect for just cooking for myself or even myself and Ed. Um, and it's really been worn out. And this came in like a set of like three. They're flexible, so you can chop things up and then, you know, bend it down to drop it into your bowl or your pan or whatever. Um, I absolutely couldn't use without these. And I probably use this more than anything else that I'm going to show you today. Well, probably not the fat sucker. But I, I mean, they were like super cheap. I think they came from Ross. I see these all the time. I have some bigger ones too that I also like to use. I actually had to pull this out of the dishwasher because it was, um, in the dishwasher and I just constantly use it and I'm constantly having to wash it and so matter of fact it even doesn't normally get put up it's usually in the strainer of the dishwasher um, but that is one of my most favorite things 
Something else that I absolutely could not live without, five years post-op BSG, are eggs. And more specifically, boiled eggs. I love eggs. They're my favorite. Boiled eggs are my absolute favorite. I do... And something else I also budget is to buy packaged boiled eggs because I am terrible at making them. You'd think that I, since I love them so much that I would make sure that um, I could make them my own self, especially since money's really tight for us. But I absolutely love them to death. They're my most favorite thing in the whole world. I said that about everything I've showed you, but it's absolutely true. I eat them on a daily. I chop them in my salads. Um, I will eat them for breakfast sometimes. I make egg salad with them they're just so easy they're just so convenient they're great to just grab and go for a snack they're great to grab and go with some cheese whiz on top um i love eggs and specifically boiled eggs i mean i eat eggs anyways but they're just a great snack and things to eat anytime during the day um, i'm trying to be really fast because i don't want this to be a really long video so my other favorite thing that i just absolutely couldn't live without is tennis shoes um and a good pair of tennis shoes. And I'm actually in need of one right now. And Bree's neighbor told me the other day she had some shoes that she wanted to get rid of. And it was not interested. And I was like, do you have tennis shoes? She's like, yes, I've got some Brooks I hate. I was like, pass them on down, girl. I love tennis shoes. And I love good tennis shoes. Um, I am really picky about my shoes. I have lost a shoe size since losing weight. My foot's not near as wide as it was. But I just have this thing. Like a, a shoe has to just fit just great. I mean, not that we don't all do that. But I just... I, I, at some point in my life, I switched from being, I don't care if it's a stylish, I have to be comfortable in the shoe. But especially a tennis shoe, um, for as busy and as active as I am, you or for you, you need a great tennis shoe. If you're going to work out at all, you need a great tennis shoe. And they're, um, I'm not going to get into specific brands. Well, I love Brooks. They're one of my most favorites. Um, I also love um, the Hookahs. Um, but they're so expensive and I still have a pair that in the closet that I only use for working out um, because they were like 180 bucks. So this is going to end up being like a two part video probably. Um, but well, let me just say this really quick. Um, my YouTube weight loss surgery family or just my YouTube family and the support that I get there. Absolutely 100% couldn't do it without you guys. That is that is probably the most important thing that I need to share with you today. If you are a newbie or if you are just newly post-op and you don't make videos but you need some support um, and you don't make videos, make videos. That's the, probably the single most best thing I ever did. I have friends that I would never have without um, making the videos. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable making videos, just be present and comment and let people know who you are. I promise you it stands out. I have some dear friends who don't make a single video that, um, that I actually absolutely don't know where I would be without them. So that is that absolutely, I've said that about everything, but it really is probably the most important thing I'm going to share today. Um, good underwear. Yes, ma'am. Good underwear is so important. And my favorite, and even after I lost all the weight, was um, Lane Bryant Hipsters. Now, I know you, some of you guys have gotten too skinny for Lane Bryant, but now they get really small. Um, but they, they're just a really good, soft material. They fit me. They hit me just perfect. When I'm running, they don't slide down. My fat sucker goes into them. They hold in my lower belly. Awesome. I loved them the whole time I was pregnant. I love them now. I loved them when I was super skinny for me. I love them now that I've gained some weight. I loved Lane Bryant underwear when I was 400 pounds, but I really love them now. And the fit they give me and the way they look under my clothes is just my favorite. And so I think everybody needs a good pair of underwear. My fitness pal. I currently don't use my fitness pal every single day uh, just because I am annoyed with it. But if this cuts off, I'm sorry. This is it. Um, but I love the availability that I can just go in and log in everything and it, and it shows me what I've eaten for the day and my calories and my protein and the carbs and the breakdown. Sorry, my kid is screaming. Um, I also really love that I can do that and, and get the, what, the stats of a recipe super easily. My Fitness Pal, if you're not on there, you need to do it today. It is super easy. If you don't have a smartphone or um, an iPad, you can also do it on the computer. It is just really, really really good decision. Some other things I have on here that I probably should mention are nuts and almonds. I love them. I love them. They're healthy. I love all different flavors. Um, cause I'm just going to be careful with the carbs, but I can't live without nuts probably. And also Pinterest. I get tons of recipes from Pinterest. That's one of my most favorite things. Um, 
And it's really gotten popular in the last couple of years. Uh, I don't even, was Pinterest even around when I first had weight loss surgery? I don't even know, but I don't know what I'd do without that. I don't look at Pinterest every day, but I look at Pinterest at least a couple times a week and it's my favorite. So I know this is super quick. If you have questions or tell me what your favorites are, I would love to hear them and I will see you guys later. Bye.